Yeah, sorry for that being 14 minutes of, uh, of uh, just nothing. It's just the ceiling, I think. Yeah, it was just ceiling. It was. I, was, I didn't do anything. Gentlemen, on land. as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. Yes. The object of our attention is a square rigged galleon. And we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship. Stomp and shout I! Aye. Those who oppose, whimper nay. Yeah, yeah Pirates Never were adults with King's Council so unified. Yep, the Pirates were adults in democracy. Before United States, of course. So basically, if they didn't like the captain, well, well, the captain will long, no, would no longer be captain. You either accept that or, you know, get marooned or something, or get shot uh, in the face, or stabbed in the face, you know, something like that. I am just letting you guys know. All right. Oh, I got one of these. Uh, Alright, uh, I think I can pick this one up. I might be able to pick, I might be able to figure this one out. Oh, there we go. I figured it out. And I just ruined my progress. So. See you now. Got you now. Oh, there you go, back to check. It never told me how to do that in this game. Actually, I forget where I learned how to back a check from. Probably Assassin's Creed 3 somewhere. Yeah, I, I don't like how they expect new people to actually know this stuff. So, yeah, I find that weird. And like I said for our, oh, hi. And like I said, Fry, this game is mainly meant for uh, Assassin's Creed veterans of one game or more. So, yeah, if you're a new person, I'll suggest starting with uh, Assassin's Creed 3 or earlier. Oh! Because uh, it will actually teach you stuff. I like this game where I expect you to know it already. And also the combat system in Assassin's Creed 3 is more forgiving. As uh, there's different unit types as opposed to... Practically everyone being the same unit type, whether they basically everyone either has a sword, a knife, or a gun. And and uh, unlike Assassin's Creed 3, where the knife guys come in a lot later, or the, and they start cheating later. I mean, also there's uh, the heavy guys, which are no problem. Well, except for you have to shoot in the face. Why is that? So yeah, so you know all the enemy types are at the beginning instead of. Uh, you know, instead of one half the game being simply in a chive in the layer of the uh, in the layer half of the game being more advanced ones. <laughs> you wanna get wide, my friend? Yes. <coughs> oh you're Spanish. I mean it's something that I like, but uh like I said again the combat system's much harder if you want to use anything other than just uh dual swords. Oh I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. Why do I want a single shot? No, oh, well, getting bullets is a good thing, but uh, if I don't need bullets, this is more like a waste of time because it's giving—it's giving me only uh, tiny amounts of money, not even uh, you know threes, only twos and ones. You're mine. All right, bullets are full. Don't need it into it. Don't need to do it anymore. I love how they just don't hear me. Yeah. Nope. What? How did I not tackle you? Or do whatever that is. Ow, knife guy. And yeah, the knife guys and sword guys are pretty much the same guy, except they're different weapons. Nope. 
You're not going to be, you're going to be sleeping today, actually. All right, go, go, go. Yeah, I like this fishing a little bit so far. Oh. oh. There's your chest that just caught the corner of my eye in the minimap. Bam. Yeah, treasure chests are kind of worth it. They're much more worth it than looting. Unless, of course, you need ammo. Um, this could be bad. Oh, there we go. By the way, there's a sale on Steam about uh, the Earth 2150, uh, uh, which is a pretty interesting game. It's basically um, what uh, basically is what hipsters play instead of Command and Conquer or StarCraft. Oh, no. You know, it's like Battlefield to Call of Duty, and by uh, Call of Duty being uh, Command and Conquer and StarCraft, and uh, Battlefield being um, well, ba Earth 2150. 160. Being is vastly different. Basically, uh, you can make your own units, and actually, that's kind of it. You can make your own units, and each uh, faction has a unique building type. And there is three three factions, and the game was made, and the game's also in 3D. And the game was uh, 2000, which was when uh, uh, Rare Alert 2 was released, and also uh, Command and Conquer 2. Uh, Tiberian Sun first expansion pack was recent. Oh my gosh. I really don't like how you can't do anything with these guys other than shoot them in the face. Although I might be able to knife them. No! I tried to run but I didn't for some reason. Reload. I can't. You know, spring oh, reloading, that's cool. So yeah, I mean, I would be making videos about Earth 2150 and 2160 if I'm both. Uh, for right now, you can get them for like $8. Uh, 2160 is at the same price, but uh, 2150 is uh, half off, I think. And it's with it, and, it, and that's with this with this expansion pack. Oh, I actually got you. I got it. Oh, counter. And you're down the ground right now. Oh, I missed again. Oh, I need bullets. So I guess I've played a little bit of it so far, and it's, I like it a lot. I mean, I like it a little bit. Although I have no idea what I'm doing at all. Uh, and I wanted to start the campaign off with the first game, uh, or not the first game though, the, with their 2150, but it doesn't want to work for me. Um, these suspension packs work though, and 2160 works fine. It's just uh, 2150 does not want to do a lot of work, which is unfortunate. But uh, when I do get good at those games, or pass it, or you know, good enough, I'll uh, start making videos of them because uh, it's pretty. They're pretty interesting. Basically, the story is uh, there are these uh, two warring factions on Earth: uh, UCS, the United Civil States, which is basically uh, U.S. owning um, all of the Americas, and I mean, and they're versing the Eurasia dynasty. Yeah, I can tackle those. Or, you know, or something. And um, basically, they're. Uh, basically they started out just killing each other for, I don't know, reason, just wanting to kill each other with nukes, and then at one point, uh, I forget who, but, uh, one of them launched a, launched a massive nuke, an experimental massive nuke, uh, in the North Pole, which they were fighting over, and, uh, accidentally knocked Earth out of its orbit. And, uh, well, during the events of 2150, it's kind of going into the sun. So what they have to do is they have to uh, get out of there by making a ship. Just like, you know, kind of like civilization. Uh, where they have to make a ship to get off Earth to get to Mars. Um, and, uh, well, that's mainly the plot. With the exception, of, and with, um, in the middle of this, uh, Another faction, the Luna Corp Corporation, decided to uh, come and spoil their party by um, coming down from the moon and start killing things. They've been mostly peaceful after, you know, they're making their colony on the moon because they uh, wanted to get it out of the way of the wars on Earth. 
and uh, well since the moon is kind of connected to earth and it's going down to the sun as well they kind of need to get out of there but the moon you know kind of uh, has little resources for them to build their you know, evacuation craft so what they have to do is they have to come to earth and kill everybody and take all their stuff I mean they don't have to kill everybody but they got to take all their stuff so that's the premise of the game and uh, I, th I like it a lot and um, the UCS is basically a drone army with mechs and, uh, and anti-grav technology which they found by searching uh, a UFO and um, they're basically ruled by AIs because uh, the UCS people are so lazy they're um, Papa Knights or whatever that's called basically people that buy you um, Right, the value squeeze value um, pleasure over everything else, over pain and stuff like that. So the more pleasure you have, the better you are, better you're off in society, or so they think. So that's why they develop machines to do all their bidding and AIs. And there's the uh, Asia Dynasty, which are basically Soviets, and uh, they still use tanks and uh, helicopters because they're old and they're cheap. And uh, since they're using that, they are mainly defensive during the campaign because uh, you guess this technology are more advanced. And uh, the Lunar Corporation uses orbital stuff, and I, and they uh, use this, um, orbital buildings. And uh, basically, these guys are so dead. And also uses shields over everything else. They use energy shields. So. Oh, they weren't close enough. Oh, no, they are. <laughs> They would have out. I was trying to squash my little jerk. I'm sorry, I accidentally sucked at that. My bad. And um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And it was one of the first uh, 3D games being it comes out, be, being com came out in 2000. Um, and it has pretty good graphics actually. Yeah, I, I mean they're not epic, but they're good, they're good enough. For you not to care about them, uh, and uh, anything else? Any? Oh yeah, and there. Uh, oh yeah. And also, another thing about the game is the fact that. Uh, ow! I, I didn't realize it till too too late. Uh, another thing about the game is you can actually fully customize your units, just like in Sid Meier's Alphas and Tori. I like to think about. I like to think um, up Earth 2150 as. Um, Basically, Tiberian Sun and Alpha Centauri mix. Being the unit building from Alpha Centauri and uh, everything else from Tiberian Sun. Working my corner to Tiberian Sun. You can just quickly figure that out. Bam, bam, ow, grenade. He threw a grenade and knocked me off the grenade. Would you just fall down already? Thank you. I was holding A again. Alright. You know what? Oh, I got the reload. Ow, you. Oh, that hurt a lot, actually. Alright, reload. So I hope you enjoyed me saying that. And uh, like I was saying, I will do gameplay videos once I, act once I actually understand what to do. So look forward to that. Run. Oh, uh, another guy. Re oh, yeah. oh, snap a lot, guys. And now I'm just going this way, sorry. Ow, I was, I held eight the last second. I really wish you could run past guys because they make it a little hard to do that. Go, 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 go. They're not assessed to me, I don't think. Yeah, look at them on the main map. You know, I'm not going to stop until I get uh, past these guys. Get up here. Oh, I didn't. I was in the Oh, he dodged it. Hey, you guys, let me beat this guy down. I will held A you game. You know, sometimes the game does not like it when you hit, when you hold A. He just doesn't want to realize you you're doing it.
Or maybe I'm just doing it way too late, but even then, I, it should count. And in case you ever noticed, he's actually blocking uh, the stuff of his hitting blades, even though they're sheath, because, uh, well, the thing's metal, for goodness sake. Bam! I like how I just punch it through his face. You're so mine, you're going to die. Oh, he has a gun. You have a gun. Knock me out. Wait a second, I know this guy. Oh, he's the Templar guy. He's the Templar pirate guy. And he's going to get freaking murdered by my fist on my leg like Sam. the gift you gave me. Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Peter as bold as a musket ball and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukeni. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue! Ah! What's yeah. this? Is petty larceny the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world, without parasites like you! Explored by one guy! Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. The cove is ours! Ah, whoa, whoa, success! Our ship is tiny compared to their ship. I completely fail those objectives, and I can see me actually doing that. I really like that mission. No, that took a little bit, although that was mainly because I was fighting, and yeah, you know, mainly because I was fighting. And I didn't know I, I was just supposed to rush the ship. Ah, uh, we can fit in one more session. It's 31 minutes. <laughs> 